So there you are, you've just pulled a pint of your beer. You lift it up to your nose, and all you can smell is corn. Sweet corn, cooked corn, cream corn. What's that all about? Come with me, let's find out about DMS. DMS or dimethyl sulfide, how is that described? Normally you'll hear people talking about a cooked corn, cooked vegetable, persnippy, sulfur even, or green beans type aroma, smell or flavour from the beer. Where is it detected? As we said before, different off flavours and faults can be detected in different places. In this case, you'll smell it and you'll be able to taste it in the beer. DMS is a sulphur based compound derived from SMM and that is synthesised during the malting process. During the mash, the SMM gets into the wort and it's there whilst you're mashing. And then during the boil, that SMM undergoes conversion into DMSO which then turns into DMS later on. Wild yeast and some bacteria can also produce high levels of DMS in your beer. What are the causes of DMS? As we have said before, SMM is unavoidable to some degree, it's part of the malting process, it's generated there. But under, malt, under modified or high moisture pale malts will have more of it. A weak or short boil stops it being boiled off and bacterial or wild yeast infection can also be a good cause of it or a big cause of it in your beer. How do you avoid it or minimise it? To minimise it, use good quality well stored malt. If it starts to get damp and the moisture level goes up, you'll get more SMM which leads to more DMS. A good vigorous boil will help it boil off. It doesn't need to be 90 minutes, but make sure it's vigorous. Use good sanitation practices and also good yeast management. If you don't pitch enough yeast, for instance, then the lag phase will be extended and bacteria can get a hold of it or wild yeast. And again, minimise yeast shock as well. You don't want to be putting cold yeast into very hot wort. So when is it appropriate? A DMS derived light cooked corn flavour is acceptable in several styles. In light lagers, German Hellers, Pills or Keller beers. In cream ales, Kentucky Common. And also in pre-prohibition lagers and porters. So there you go, that's DMS. If you liked that, remember to subscribe and keep up to date. There's a lot more beer fault videos coming up. And if you like the content, always remember to give us a like. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching.